What's going on everybody? Welcome back to That Sounds Terrible. Today's episode is going to be a full-on review of the Chapman ML1 Modern. Now I got it a year ago. My wife got it as a gift and I figured after the time that has gone by since that review, I would talk about my overall feelings on now versus my initial review. Um, so first and foremost, the neck on this guitar is still by far one of the best necks out of all of the ones that I have. Um, it's very comfortable. It still has a like, very nice satin feel to it. The fretboard, um, one of the best characteristics, in my opinion, for this guitar since I've owned it is how well the guitar or the neck is rolled. Uh, I like rolled necks. A lot of mine that I have do not have that, so I end up having to doing it myself. And it just adds for a nice characteristics. Now, at the time of purchase, this was $8.99. Uh, or $7.99. $7.99 or $8.99. It was under $1,000, I can tell you that. I think after tax and shipping, it was like $9.50. Um, somewhere in that ballpark. But they're not stainless steel frets. Um, the fret ends are very, very well done. There is zero burrs. There is no fret sprout. Um, I'm, I'm really shocked for the price at how well the frets actually are. The biggest thing is, is the comfortability and the fact that it's already rolled fretboard just adds to that. So to me, A plus on the neck. So the neck is by far the best. I do like the, the tele design. I'm not a big fan of inverted um, you know, tuners and whatnot. Now it does have uh, the Chapman branded tuners. They're non-locking. Uh, that's you know easy enough. You gotta remember you're, you're paying for the extras when you get into the knit and picking and stuff like that. Now, I did take out the Chapman Kronos pickups, I believe they were called. It did have a push-pull. It only has a three-way toggle. And I, I went ahead and hooked it up with uh, my preferred wiring method. So my bridge pickup volume and my neck volume. And I'm not really going to talk about the electronics because that's kind of here or there. Uh, I think originally it had alpha pots. Um, it's the original switch. It's, it's very positive. Uh, I've never had an issue with the factory switch, so I left it in there. I did replace the pots. They are Dunlop Super Pots. I do prefer those. Um, I used to use the old, old style CTS pots. Um, you know, kind of the standard ones that you would get for like a Les Paul. Uh, I used the Mojo Tone ones because it is a vintage style taper, and I just fell in love with them so long ago. But uh, Royce at Deviant turned me on to the Super Pots and. Uh, I've been using them ever since. So a lot of my guitars have already been swapped out, excluding the Les Pauls. Um, but the body is solid mahogany. I'm pretty sure, I'm almost positive it's a multi-piece um, on the guitar. It is painted on the back, so I can't really talk about that. But, you know, it's got a nice little spoon cut out. It's got good access to the upper frets. Uh, I'm not a shred player by any means, so... I'm not going to show that, but you know, you've got plenty of access to get where you need to go. Uh, the veneer on top is, is beautifully done. Uh, you can definitely see it is a veneer, especially when you look right down the side here. Uh, the paint line is very sharp. Uh, there's a couple of spots here and there, you know, from tape bleed, things like that. But I mean, overall from the money, man, this, this guitar is rock solid. Now, to be fair, I didn't have to... Uh, do any major setup it was already the action was already pretty much in the ballpark i do roll my action or lower my action pretty low um my string gauge it's usually like a 0.60 uh for my low e and like a 0.40 on the high e and just you know in between all the way down the bridge is a hip shot bridge so that's nice you know i don't have to worry about the hardware on that it is a hardtail string through so, you know, overall for the money, man, this is a great beginner guitar for somebody. Uh, I, I could see this as like a, you know, local band. You could gig with it. I would take it on the road, no problem. Um, it's a maple neck, solid mahogany with a maple veneer. So don't think it's a, a maple cap because it's not solid mahogany with a maple veneer. The maple veneer does look good. You know, the coloring on it was done really cool. Uh, and that's kind of what attracted my wife to it. Um, that and I like the blueberry burst color, you know, that purplish blue but anyways so overall i would give it you know an eight out of ten there are some things that i think could have done better uh it does have a tusk nut but again you know for the price point you're not going to beat it 
Uh, like I said, I'm not going to rate the electronics simply because I tend to swap all of that out. Uh, I just like to tinker and change stuff. And I'm constantly rolling tubes and pickups and, you know, speakers and cabinets and microphones and this, that, and the other. I just like to tinker and play and, you know, find different sounds and whatever. So, but overall, this guitar has been a great pickup. Very impressed with it. Um, I did have to adjust the action on, or the, uh, the truss rod a little bit. I believe it's a dull action, and the reason I say that is because uh, we had that cold spell come through for the winter time, um, that real super cold. It hit the southeast and all that stuff, and I noticed that it was it was bowing pretty good, but there was no tension on the truss rod, and so I started tightening it up, and obviously it went the wrong direction. When I tight loosened it all the way up, it was still there, so I tightened it the other direction, and I got rid of it. It definitely felt like a dual action truss rod. Now I could be wrong on that. Now there is some slight fret buzz. But you know overall I'm pleased with it. Uh, I guess we can do a little sound sample or whatever. We'll uh, put it into the Super Kraken. Uh, and I believe I have, uh, what is it, the Aquarius still hooked up uh, from the other day. So. All right, here we go. All right, we are on gain one. And gain one is set to noon. The, the built-in boost, the preamp focus is on. So we're gonna turn the pedal on. Anyways, there you have it. That is the Chapman ML1 Modern, not the ML2. Let's see if I can flip it over. You guys can see it. Yep, ML1. Um, again, for the price point, man, this is a great guitar. Uh, I, I would definitely consider getting another one. I might look into the Pro Series. Uh, that does kind of step it up. Uh, for the value, I think those are also pretty good from what I've been reading. So we'll see if I find one. Um, we'll try to pick one up this year. Um, or we'll see what happens. Anyways, tell me what you guys think. We'll see you in the next one.